your speed, you're gonna include both the 40 gigabit per second and the 100 gigabit per second. 100 gigabit per second sounds super fast, doesn't it? Well, we could work through the math together to figure out how many packets per second that is. We'll start out with 64 byte, which is the minimum ethernet packet size. Then there's eight bytes preamble, 12 bytes gap, that's 84 bytes on the line for the minimum packet size of 64 byte. And there are eight bits per byte, and that gives you 672 bits per packet. At 100 gigabit per second, that's 100 times 10 to the 9 bits per second divided by the 672 bits per packet that we had, which gives us 148,809,523 packets per second. That's 100 gigabit per second. So when you see equipment that's advertised to be running minimum packet size of 64 byte at 100 gig line rate, and you don't see that number, 148-809-523, they are making a mistake on the gap. It's not 12 bytes that they're averaging. It's probably too big or too little, so you don't have the correct rate. Now, let's look at what our team has done. We're the first and only team with a 100 gig Ethernet IP test module. Our hardware is running 100 gig in line rate, and I will show you that. This is a GUI of our 100 gig hardware, K2, which is transmitting 64 byte packets at 100 gig. Notice the 148809523 rate. As you can now appreciate that rate as the line rate for 100 gig for 64 byte packets. In other words, one packet every 6.72 nanoseconds. That rate does not happen by accident. Thank you for your time today. I hope you will join our team again for another higher speed Ethernet segment. And remember, failure is not an option.